Hey everyone, I start off by finishing all raw seams of card patterns. I have two pieces for sleeves, one front piece and one back piece. I'm using the zigzag stitch to finish the seams. Next, I'll be marking the positions for the ribbon hole inserts on the front piece. Fold it into half with right sides facing outwards. I'm using a 2cm white ribbon tape. Use the pattern as a guide to mark positions. I'll be using the buttonhole sewing to reinforce the two holes, approximately 1cm each. After the holes are done, use a seam ripper to open them. Start from the bottom and cut open slowly. Working on the sleeves now, fold each piece into half, right sides facing each other. Pin the underarm seams for both sleeves. Sew down both seams. Use an iron to press open seams. Next, place front piece and back piece together, right sides facing together. Pin the side seams and run a stitch down. Do it for the other side too. Press open seams and turn the right side out. Match the front side of sleeve to front piece. Now I'm joining the sleeve to bodies. I make sure that the front side of sleeve matches with the front bodies. First, align the seams and pin in place. Match the front sleeve notch to the front bodies notch. Ease slightly and pin in place. Do the same for the back. It is a double notch for the back. This is to differentiate the front and back pieces easily. Front piece only has a single notch. Run a stitch down. Do the same for the other sleeve. For the top, fold 6cm down. Pin in place or use an iron to press down. Make sure that the seams are pressed open before folding them down. From the new fold line, measure 2.5cm down and run a stitch around the top. This is how it looks like when the stitches are done. I'll be using a 1.2cm elastic band for the top. From the stitch line I just did, measure 1.5cm down for the second stitch line. This is to create the tunnel for the elastic band and ribbon tape. I place a pin to indicate where I will start to stitch and another pin about 3cm from it which will be the point where I stop the stitch leaving a hole to insert the elastic band. This is how the second stitch line looks like when it's done. I'll come back to the elastic band insert later. It's quite difficult to manage the sleeves when the top is all scrunched out. From the hem, fold 9cm up, pin in place or use an iron to press down. From the new fold line, measure 6.5cm up and run a stitch around the hem. This is how it looks like when the stitches are done. From the stitch line I just did, measure 1.5cm up for the second stitch line, which is the tunnel for the elastic band. Like what I did for the top, I placed two pins to indicate start and end stitch points. I will also come back for the elastic insert later. For the sleeve hem, I fold 5cm up, pin in place or use an iron to press down. From the stitch line I just did, measure 1.5cm up for the second stitch line. Place the start and end pins before stitching two. Do the same for the other sleeve. Time to insert the elastics. I use a measuring tape to measure my bicep which is about 24cm. My sleeve elastic is about 22cm including 2cm seam allowances. Use a safety pin to true one end of the elastic. Remove the pins and insert the elastic. Pin the other end of elastic to the sleeve so it doesn't slip into the tunnel. Scrunch and even out the fabric. Make sure that the elastic is not twisted as you go. Once the elastic end with the safety pin is out, remove both pins and overlap the ends of elastic. Sew through the overlap several times until it is secure. After it's done, let the elastic slip back into the tunnel. Run a stitch to enclose the gap and another stitch on the elastic to prevent it from moving about. Repeat the same steps for the other sleeve and waist. My waist is 67cm and the elastic band for my waist is 59cm with 2cm seam allowances. I subtract 10cm as my elastic is rather stretchy. The standard is to subtract 5cm.
Same steps for the shoulder too. My shoulder girth is about 92cm and my elastic is 84cm including 2cm seam allowances. For the shoulder section, I enclosed the tunnel but I did not sew down the elastic. This is so that I could insert the ribbon. Measure the ribbon length, mine is 200cm. Insert one end of ribbon tape through the front buttonhole. Slide it through the tunnel to come out from the other buttonhole. Last step is to trim and burn the ribbon ends to prevent them from fraying. And tada, the top is done. You can find the patterns on my blog, hchilly.com. If you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe for my upcoming tutorials and I will see you soon.